Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. We're going to start out with my new Moonology cards just because I love them so much and I like to get to know the cards when I get them. And I saw this waxing moon for four card spread. Um, the waxing moon is the time from the new moon to the full moon, a period of approximately two weeks when the moon appears to be growing in size every night. This is a time for working with gusto towards your goals and the cards in this spread reflect that. Think about your number one aim of the moment and then one by one place your chosen cards face down in this layout. So what I did was I shuffled and they're a little stiff now so they're harder to lay out in a fan right at, at this moment. So I just you know closed my eyes and picked the cards. Card number one is what is rising up in me between now and the full moon. So right now, what is the solution? to any challenge I face now, the advice, and the final outcome. So we can look at this reading as a twin flame soulmate is what the intention was, is what I was guided to do. So what do we need to do? Like, what do you need to do to get yourself ready for this connection or to strengthen the connection that you're in? Because a lot of times it's us that need to do the work. It's us that needs to release or get to a different place in order to allow um, the perfect match for us to come in or the resurgence of a relationship we're in oftentimes they're mirroring us and it's the work that we need to do so we're just gonna see how this reading goes I have several decks that um, I was guided to use and but we're gonna start here and this is that time period but remember time is an illusion and energy is fluid so whenever you're guided to listen to this is the perfect time for you no matter what period the moon is in so what's rising up in you right now what what's what's rising up in you okay well this is interesting because I think it is the first quarter moon right now I think it started yesterday so your commitment is being tested I talked about this at the I feel like at the beginning of the pick a card reading if you haven't listened to that it's really great messages in there and I definitely encourage you to do that but your commitment is being tested so what are you focusing on like how bad do you want it kind of a feeling like how bad do you want to get yourself to the point where you would be a match for your twin flame your soulmate your divine partner how bad how committed to your path are you how committed to your own personal divine plan are you and it's it, you know ask yourself there's no wrong answer but what wherever your heart goes wherever you feel whatever you feel most passionate about that's what your commitment is and it could be career you could look at this as career as well or just a hobby or anything really but I'm focusing on the twin flame soulmate this time okay and what is the solution to any challenge what's the solution confidence is your key new moon in Leo okay Leo Leo to me feels like a very passion the very passion it's a fire sign right taking charge of your life but doing it with grace and beauty as well like n not necessarily so fierce and hard but allowing that lion within that confidence within your your solar plexus chakra to be lit up and standing in your power and be confident in who you really are be confident in what you bring to the table. Be confident that the truth, your intuition, is right on and leading you um, to your destiny. So it's taking back your power and having confidence in yourself. And commit. Make that commitment to yourself to better yourself, to move forward somehow, to release toxic uh, relationships, to release toxic thoughts, uh, clean up your energy field, your auric field. Like it's commit to yourself and be confident because you will be successful the advice is it's time yeah, there you go there, I just felt it it's time to release negativity full moon and Scorpio okay what are we holding on to what resentments what regrets uh, anger all of those things fears anything negative it's time to give that a good release this is the perfect time period because we're coming into the full moon in another week or so this is the perfect time period to figure out what you want to release and just start releasing it and when the full moon comes it'll be like that final release write it down burn the piece of paper 
and then write down a gratitude list and everything you want to bring in and burn that as well if you want just to say this is what I'm letting go of and this is what I want but it's time to release that negativity it's time to release harsh judgments on yourself and harsh judgments on others it's just time to release because you're gonna be better for it and be confident that you know your intuitions telling you you know the truth the final outcome once you do this once you make the commitment and you allow this to release and you you know stand in your power yeah it's time full moon in Aquarius so interesting that we we got first quarter moon new moon and then two full moons so it's really a time of change a time of release and a time of new beginnings show the world the real you full moon in Aquarius card Aquarius is an air sign speak your truth have confidence speaking your truth Scorpio is a an a water sign so release those toxic lower level vibrating emotions or understand them I mean they're a part of us but understand them rather and let transform them into love and let the negative part of it go and move forward and show the world the real you the confident standing in your power committed to your path and plan committed to yourself and don't be afraid to step out of the box your unique gifts and talents are necessary in this world. They are much needed in this world. So show the world the real you. Open yourself up to possibilities. Speak your truth. Bridge this gap between your mind, your air, and your heart. Become centered. And when you're centered and you're aligned with your true self, your higher self, source energy, you will be confident. And you'll know what you what you, the next steps are. So it's time to just be you. Show the world the real you. Okay, we're going to put these up here. There you go. Okay, we're going to move into the Santa Muerta deck. Um, this deck is pretty powerful to me. Like it, it just has a lot of energy in it. Um, we're going to see what comes up. Typically don't read reversals unless they tell me to. Just that, That's just the kind of reader that I am because I feel like there's enough cards that give you that, you know, sort of other, I won't say negative, but like, you know, there's enough cards in here that would tell a story like that if, if it was necessary. So I prefer to read them upright unless you know, otherwise noted. Okay. So we've got the first card that came out is the five of wands. To me, when I know this is like, you know, kind of drama, bothersome details, people fighting, there's conflict. There's been conflict within your union, conflict within yourself. And when I look at this card, it's like, do I want to light that match? Do I want to start this fire? Do I really want to start something with this person? There might be some people in your life or perhaps it is this partnership that you're wondering if you even want to stay up in because it's like every time you light the fl you light that flame and start a conversation, it's conflict. It just feels very conflicting. It's time for change of that. So think about what you're saying and who you're engaging with first and ask yourself, do I really want to go there? Or do I want to release this negativity and just blow out this match and walk away from this energy? And it's really up to you. But look at this. The Empress is showing up. This is you or this is your partner. But this is like saying, yeah, walk away from this because this is the life that you deserve. This is who you really are. The Empress is abundant and loving and generous and kind and really standing in his or her power. I mean, this is about being confident. So the Empress is confident, loving and generous, but at the same time, isn't going to take crap, okay? Is very dedicated to her path and plan. You see the staff right here with the cross? I'm very dedicated to what I'm doing. But I'm also, it's, it's tuning into your feminine side. Whether you're a masculine or feminine watching this, it's tuning into your feminine side, balancing that feminine side, moving away from conflict into your abundance. 
So sometimes we have to let go of these toxic thought, these energies that are around us, bothersome drama, you know, even if it's within the family or people close to us, because this is who you really are and you don't need any of this. It's time for change with that and making a decision, right? Coming into balance. Two of Pentacles is making decisions, coming into balance and making a decision on this partnership. I mean, look at that. It's two people coming together and when you come together, it's like you both get your wings. You see that butterfly on their face, but they it, it's like the other half of you, the yin and yang. So finding that balance within right now, I'm feeling, is, very, is key for you. Whoever's watching this, find that balance within. Make decisions that are best for you so that you can transform your life and live this life, life as the emperor or the empress. But it, it's like what I'm feeling from the cards is facing yourself. Like, who are you really? What do you want? Because you're to show the world the real you. Who are you? You are shadow and you are light. So bringing those together, understanding the shadow side, understanding this conflict that's been going on, that you, maybe you've caused the conflict, maybe you've been part of the drama, and you're looking to not be part of it anymore because you're realizing it's not serving you anymore. Take it as it resonates. But it's time to come into balance with yourself. Yes, take charge. You have the power. You have your sword of truth. This is a masculine energy coming in and saying, T take charge, or I'm here to help you take charge. There might be a masculine coming in that's very much king of swords. Like, take charge, stand your ground, stand in your power, and I'm going to help you do that. Or this is you, and this is balancing king of swords with the empress. Like, sure, I'm lovely, and I'm abundant, and I'm here to share my love, but I'm not going to share it if you're going to give me issues and problems. I'm balanced within myself. I'm taking charge of my life. I have this sort of truth. I can, I'm can. i standing strong in my power. I'm confident, and I'm just going to be me, and I'm not going to let anyone or anything take me away from that. The Eight of Pentacles, okay, on the right path okay you're on the right path your abundance is coming you've been planting the seeds you're on the right path so keep going there's like a little pouch of that you've been gathering your money you've been gathering your stability you've been you have these great ideas you've been planting the seeds to me eight is a magical number of manifestation it's also a sign of twin flame soulmate like the infinity sign so this could be telling you that the masculine is more of like the king of swords, might not always express him or herself, um, but does have love in their heart, They're, but they communicate very clearly and they stand strong in their power. They might seem a little aloof or like off, but they really do care. And look at this abundance around this, this king. And then the feminine energy being, you know, the empress energy. So I'm seeing divine counterparts because look at the Empress is here, the King of Swords is here. And the King of Swords is very much like the Emperor to me in a lot of ways because the Emperor stands there with that strong face and stands in their power. So it's, it's, it's coming together, divine masculine, divine feminine coming together within yourself and sharing this partnership. So you're on the right path is basically the message. And this is the Nine of Wands, okay? Yeah, you've been doing a lot of stuff on your own, but you've got the stamina. You've got the strength. Look at look at this feminine. She's cutting away whatever is not serving her, getting ready for her union. Like to me, this feels like I'm getting ready for my masculine. My masculine is on his way. He found his he found his or her truth, but my masculine is on their way to me and I'm going to cut back and I'm going to get rid of and I'm going to get rid of all the burdens that aren't serving me. So to me it goes right along with this five of wands. Like do I really want to start that or do I want to cut it away from my life? And it's up to you. But I, I feel what Spirit's telling you is it's time to cut the crap away. Like you don't need this. In, you don't need it anymore. You don't need these energies. You don't need these belief systems. You don't need this anymore. So she's cutting it away and making room for the masculine. Yeah, look at that. She's making room for the masculine right into the, the Four of Wands. St this is stability. Feeling good on my own. And it's like the feminine is just decorating the place. Look, getting ready, cleaning up, decorating the place. And like, here I am. I'm ready for my union. I'm ready. And this is 1111. And I just said the infinity sign, twin flame, soulmate. That's, that's another sign for you.
that, that you're on the right path to your union or the person that you're with is the person to be in union with. Judgment. Yeah, look at that. Look at that baby coming out of the grave, right? Judgment, rebirth, seeing things from a different perspective, from a spiritual eye, not casting judgment on yourself or others and coming into balance. This In this card, it's like, to me, I know it's the judgment card, but it's like rebirth of a new life. Like, here I am, right? Show the world the real you. Well, this is the real you. Here I am. And you have all the support of your spiritual family. Your ancestors are with you. You see this? Your ancestors are with you while you're birthing into this new life. You, you've seen the light. You've risen above. You have the clarity. And you're ready to be reborn again and live the life that you were meant to live. And you have protection. They're, they're cheering you on. I feel your ancestors cheering you on. They're part of, ooh, and I just got the chills like all over. They're part of this union. And judgment is XX, right? 10, 10, you know, endings and new beginnings, endings of cycles. And it's time for that. It's time for that for you. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. They want, they're telling you the wheel of fortune is moving in your favor, but you need to take an active part in this. And part of that, why it could be blocked, why you, some of you, and look, another X. So we got X, X, X. That might mean something to someone, but also 10, 10, 10. Like it's major things that, that are ending right now. Part of this bothersome stuff they're saying, it could be blocked. Your wheel of fortune, moving it in your favor could be blocked if you don't allow yourself to cut away what's not serving you. It's time to let go of what's not, you know, not serving you. It's time to say no if you need to say no. It's time to take charge of your life and get that wheel turning in your favor. And that also has to do with cleaning up your thoughts too about yourself, not judging yourself so harshly. You're perfect the way where you're at. You've chosen these different experiences and these different relationships to get you to where you need to be. And look at that. This what is it this nine or six? I can't ever tell if it's I think it's Six of Pentacles. Oh yeah, six o'clock on the clock. Duh. Okay, so the t <laughs> sometimes I have to look at them, but the time is now. Like they're saying, the time is now. It's time for you to receive now, because the Six of Pentacles is what a very reciprocal type thing. You've been giving out a lot, and the universe wants to bless you and wants you to receive this union, to receive this new idea, to receive the guidance to move forward. Allow yourself to receive. A lot of the times our blocks are because we're not allowing ourselves to receive. We're in this regret and shame and, and resentment and those lower vibration energies. They, they prevent us from having the clarity of what we need to do to move forward. But what Spirit is saying now is it's time for you to receive. It's time for you to receive this clarity from this masculine or from the masculine within the sword of truth. It's time for you to receive the blessings from the universe. Like I said, the wheel wants to turn in your favor. You've just got to take an active approach to it. And this is part of your rebirth is allowing yourself to receive. The eight of cups, yeah, leaving the past behind. But if we don't leave the past behind, right, and we stay stuck in it, well, what are, we're just stuck in the past. Another eight, another confirmation of manifestation, magic in the air, twin flame union. I mean, there you go. And it's right under the eight of pentacles. So you've got the eight of pentacles and the eight of cups. It's time to move forward. I mean, literally, it's time. The seven of swords. Yeah, reflecting on what you've learned. It's good to reflect. It's good to have a, a take a little rest and kind of think about the past. But if you stay stuck in it, then you're kind of stuck in that energy and that illusion. It's time to like make decisions to get yourself out, learn from it, grow from it, and reflect on it. But move forward from it is what I'm feeling from this card. And what are the last two cards we got here? Yeah, it's time. It's time to make the decision. It's time for decisions. It's, again, another two. So we've got a lot of confirmations of decisions, magic happening, cutting away what doesn't serve you, allowing this new energy to come in, allowing this partnership to come in in whatever way you're viewing it, birthing into a new life. The time is now. Allow yourself to receive. Learn from the past, but leave it, leave it behind. 
and it's time to make decisions that are for you instead of fighting with these other people or, or within your own head for some of you it's time to just make make the decision the two of wands is making a decision and making the decision that's best for you you're going to get a little message of of some kind of offer of some kind of gift of some kind of offer of you know some some kind of gift and just collect your gifts be thankful see again allow yourself to receive right this is just a confirmation that you're going to receive money or a gift or something of some kind to help you move forward on your path and and just keep collecting what you're learning making decisions that are best for you and look at what's at the bottom of the deck how lovely is this we got to pull pull it out it's the sun card so it's time for new beginnings this is happy time this is like spirit and all your ancestors and loved ones like singing for you like this is it this is your this is your life move forward make the decisions let go of this bothersome energy cut away anything that's not serving you because divine union is available for you the wheel of fortune and whatever fortunes you want is moving in your is really wants to move in your favor and it's time for this it's time to let go of the past and allow the sun to shine in and heal you that's that beautiful masculine energy coming in to to heal you and restore your life really and the cards that stand out to me in this reading are um, we're gonna put them up here the Empress the four of wands the king of swords and the Sun and again the Sun what that's Leo I believe and you got the Leo card for the moon sign. So it's time to take charge. It's time to work on that solar plexus chakra, your third chakra, and stand in your truth, stand in your power, and, and move forward knowing that you're being blessed and you're being divinely guided. It's not easy sometimes to let go of the past and like move away from energies that aren't serving you because they might be people that are very that are very close to you. But it's okay to give yourself a little distance. Somebody needs to hear that. Just give yourself a little distance so you can breathe and get yourself back into balance, knowing that you're the empress, you're the emperor. Take charge of your life. The sun is shining in. Now we're going to use the tarot of sexual magic to kind of see a little bit more about this union. I want to know how your divine partner feels about you. How does their divine partner feel about them? The hanged man. They see you as a, like seeing life in a different perspective. You give them such a beautiful new disposition, a way to look at life. They're, they, they've made their decision. They know it's you, but they're... They're loving being suspended in the thoughts of you, I feel like. I feel like they're thinking of you. They're dreaming of you. They're fantasizing of about you and the things that you'll do. And they just think you're beautiful and magnificent. And they're, they're, yeah, I feel like it's thinking of you wanting you, desiring you, dreaming of you, meditating about, you know, and you pop in and your body and the way they feel around you and how you're so free and you just allow yourself to be truly you and they appreciate that. And you're just a, a gorgeous person, whoever's listening to this, you're, you're all, you're gorgeous. And they, they think you're perfect just the way that you are. Wow, this is what they desire. This is what they want, the love of a lifetime. They see this union. They feel it. If you're not in physical union, they feel it. This is a love of a lifetime. This is what their true desire is, to share their cup with you. And, and this is just so beautiful because it, they're so very much so comfortable and so connected. And this person that's thinking of you they enjoy thinking about you and they enjoy physically be, being with you but sometimes it's enough just to think of you and that satisfies them you're so fulfilling to them in, in every way 
They might re they might enjoy when you take care of yourself. They might enjoy to watch that. It's a turn on for them. You having pleasure is a turn on for them. And being so close. The Ace of Cups to me is very close. It's like you talk, you have great conversations. You're it's it's you know, opening up the lines of communication is really important in, in going deep, connecting spiritually and physically, mentally and emotionally, like the whole thing. Body, mind, and soul. And they want new beginnings. They want new beginnings in love in their life. The knave of wands. So this is like wanting to come forward with some kind of passionate offer but I'm feeling like it's a little like not immature in a, in a ridiculous way like a kid way but just they feel like they're a kid again they feel a little like a little nervous but this is what they want this is what they're dreaming about this is what they desire you're a goddess to them, a god to them. They desire to be close to you with the sea with the same feeling, like just being close to you and admiring you. But I feel they're a little nervous, maybe. You're you're very intoxicating. You're you're so amazing that you you can possibly be overwhelming to them in a very good way, but it overwhelming. And so they're I feel like a little nervousness. Several came out, and look, they want they want to they want to be this knight for you. They want to offer you something, give you a gift. Remember, we saw before some kind of gift. You're going to be given a gift, and this is the same card, I believe. So you, there's something coming in for you, a, a, some kind of offer, and there it's a genuine offer. Okay, Pentacles is a very um, grounded energy, yet there's passion inside this person. There's passion for you. There's passion to move forward. They're wanting to move forward in a little bit quicker fashion than a pentacle energy normally would. And they really are working to move forward and offer something. Even if it's just a little something, they're hoping it's enough. The Four of Cups, okay? So leave, like leaving the past behind, not being bored or depressed anymore. Like I said, they're ready for a new beginning and stability. Like, remember what you learned. We've already been down this road. We don't need to go down this road again. If you're in union, it's like, we don't need to go back down and talk about the past anymore and talk about the depression and talk about, you know, what happened in the past. Like, let's not go there anymore. Let's close this door. Let's close this gate. Um, that's our past. Let's move forward into our future together, into stability. Yeah, I've been difficult for this person to get over their ego tendencies, their addictions, their um, thinking the grass is greener. Perhaps this person has kind of been in a lot of different relationships and they're really working on whatever's gripping them, facing their fears, um, taking off the mask, taking off the, I don't know, that's a funny card to me. I, I got it in the last <laughs> pick of cards for one of them. Like, is, did it fall off? Is that protection? Is that telling you to stay protected during this time? And while, while your partner is working through these ego-centered, fear-based uh, addictions and codependencies and things like that. But that's that's been a little bit of a struggle to let go of that, those types of energies. But I feel like they are. I feel like they're letting go of that. They're seeing the truth now. Yeah, they want to make another two of wands. We got that in the last reading. It was the last part of the reading, right? So this is another confirmation of making the decision. Like, he's like, listen, I, I, this is what I want. I want to be in partnership with you. I have this to offer. I have, I have this food on the table I want to offer you. I have my passion and my love I want to offer you. And we're going to, I know we're going to be abundant. I know things are going to work out. And because he's communicating with her and opening himself up, to the masculine is opening up to the feminine it's allowing her to feel more comfortable see she's touching him you know with her leg like this does allow it to be more comfortable for so it's time to open up those lines of communications use that king of swords energy get gather your truth and balance it with the empress energy and come with compassion and love with what you have to say 
five of pentacles is typically like kind of regrets of the past or like people ghosted you or didn't you know give you what you felt you deserve but you're it's like moving on from that they're wanting they're wanting change in this they're wanting change and to move on from the things that didn't work out and provide stability for you they're just looking for change and look at that the sword of truth <clears throat> the ace of swords taking control the masculine would you know maybe like to just relax a little and be dominated by feminine and that's their truth is they just want this new beginning and maybe they've been so in the, much in the ego is what I'm feeling they've been so much in the ego and all about them and it's all about them and, and, and in this king of swords energy a little too much and now they're ready to like okay I can relax with you I can let myself go maybe be a little uh, vulnerable in a sense and uh, trust they want to have that trust and look at that new beginnings, you know, the ace of swords with their truth that they trust this uh, union and they really want this ace of cups. They really want this love. Any more for you? Let's see if there's any more, any more messages from this. Woo. Wow. Okay. Those must be it. What are they? Yeah, kind of like make sure that you're paying attention to the red flags make sure that you're listening because not all unions i mean some union some people are still going to be in this ego-centered energy to me the five of swords is again like the bothersome thoughts the bothersome and i don't know he looks a little sneaky to me like he's doing other things okay so just be make sure that you're paying attention that you're not just because they seem all great and passionate and, you know, just make sure that it's talk. Open up the line of communication because you'll know when you connect with someone and look in their eyes. The, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So this is more for you, the person reading. Make sure that you're, you're, you're allowing yourself to see the truth. Yes, you have, you have the strength. You have the strength to tame the beast within. You have the, you have the strength to bring yourself into balance and, and hear the truth. And, you're, and sometimes the truth we don't want to hear, right? But you, you're strong enough to know the truth, and it's time to let go of those energies that aren't serving you anymore, those sneaky energies, those bother in some energies, those codependent, addictive-type energies that aren't really giving you what you want. Because the Ace of Cups, this adoring person who just wants to love you and offer you whatever they have and leave the past behind, make a decision to be with you, no more regrets, allowing themselves to let go and trust you know this is a more sneaky energy to me so beware if that's surrounding you yeah again another five so we've got a lot of fives here five 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 it's time for blessed changes expect the unexpected this is the five okay this is the five of cups right so we have the four of cups up here like kind of like I'm bored and I'm and but not seeing that that cup just comes out of nowhere, right? And this offer is made and you're like, oh my God, yes, that's what I want. That's the decision I want, new beginnings. And look at this, he's offering her something. The feminine is thinking about it like, do I want this? Is this the cup? And the five of cups is typically the three cups spilled and the two cups up. So what spirit wants you to focus on is the two cups are up. Who's giving you this offer? Because there's offers coming in everywhere. The, la the last part of the reading, uh, offer here and offer here. So really pay attention to your intuition because you'll, you'll know if it's this person that you really can't trust or if it's this person that you can't. You'll know. But I, there may be some choices to be made. You may have options. You may be presented with a couple different people or a few different people and it's really get to know them. Really dive deep into their soul and you'll know the truth. Yes, because it's time for the scales to come in balance for you. It's time for justice to be served in this union, and you have the truth. Look at that sword of truth. That's you. That's you have the truth. You know. You can bring the scales back into balance yourself by letting go of what's not serving you and allowing the people that are genuine and really, really trying to, get, you know, express their love, expressing themselves. You know, they might, like I said, they might be a little nervous. So 
being open and heart centered and allowing and allowing people to at least open up to you is a good idea right now. And look at the bottom, it's the lovers. It's the lovers at the bottom, another confirmation of union and making a choice in love. To me, this masculine, it's to me, this is the same woman. Okay, this is the light side of her, you know, a little more shy, maybe a little reserved at times it needs to be. And then this is the shadow, fun, dominatrix. Yeah, here I am, baby side. So I feel like this is like the feminine coming into balance and this masculine loving all of her, all of this feminine, whether it be a man or a woman. But the masculine is loving every part of the feminine. That's the masculine for you. That's the choice in love that you're to make. The Loving the shadows and the light side of you because it's all part of you. It's all part of who you are. It's time to express yourself and be uniquely you in the world. And the choice in love is the choice of everything, of balance, of someone that's balanced and ready to make that decision. Not someone that's, you know, you and with all these other people and not making decisions and not offering anything just wanting to take that's not the energy it's it's a a very reciprocal energy a very loving a very accepting a very you know give and take right role reversal sometimes the king of swords and then sometimes i'm just gonna lay here and let you be the queen you know kind of a thing i'm gonna let you dominate me it's a good mix it's a it's a really good mix coming into your life but you have to make the choice to change right i mean we you know, that's, that's your choice. It's up to you. But I feel passion is coming in. I feel offers of stability are coming in. And love is coming into your life. I mean, with this Ace of Cups, it's time for new beginnings. So if you're in this hangman perspective, allow yourself time to make the decisions. Allow yourself time to decide. But it is time, you know, don't take too much time, though. Because the time is now, right? As we got at the beginning of the reading. But sometimes we do need to like look at things from a different perspective and take ourselves out of it from an uh, ego part and look at it from a spiritual point of view. Okay, these are the wisdom of the oracle. We're just going to see what comes out of some messages from spirit for you. There's a message in the bottle. A message is coming. Uh, your psychic abilities could be increasing, your intuition on point, something in a dream, some kind of message is coming to give you that clarity that you need. So pay attention to the signs because they're everywhere and spirit is giving you the message. They're calling you. They're, it's your wake up call. The thinker. Okay, 44 is stability and it's another number eight, another confirmation. So think about what you want. What what do you want? But don't spend, remember I said with the hangman, don't spend too much time thinking. Sometimes it's time to make that decision to move forward. If we spend too much time in here, she looks like kind of listless, you know, just sort of like, ah, I'm just sort of bored. I'm just thinking too much. So maybe some of you are thinking too much and it's time to bridge that gap from your mind to your heart and become more centered and then make take action. What are their messages coming after that? Yeah, because it's time for the rebirth. We got that card where the baby was coming out of the, the uh, coffin, like a rebirth. It's regeneration time. You're being healed. You're regenerating your life. You're ending cycles. We got 10, 10, 10 in the, in the beginning reading, and here's another 10. So it's you've, you're getting the message. You've been thinking about what needs to change, and it's time to allow yourself to heal and regenerate and um, into this new, new life. It's time for change, and it's going to be good change, and you have got a lot of spiritual guidance and a lot of spiritual help because I see all those little sparkles of light, all that spirit. Here, I'll show you. Look at all that spiritual guidance you're getting. The divine is helping you heal, is helping you move forward through these changes. And look at this. Look at this. Enchanting gifts are coming your way. Yes, that's what I meant about receiving. Allow yourself to receive. The universe is, is really working to gift you with things, with new opportunities in love, new opportunities in life, 
um, and, and everything really giving you gifts. Like I, I, there's, there's gifts coming. So I want to hear about these gifts. I would love to hear about these beautiful gifts that you're getting because we've gotten the confirmation pretty much in every set of cards that gifts are coming for you. Some kind of gift, some kind of opportunity, some kind of something, offer of love, offer of a little money to help out, something beautiful. Uh, cats remind you of your, you know, independence, time to be playful, uh, night magic to me with cats and, you know, be unique be you. It's time to come out of the box, again, out of a box, like out of the grave, like a rebirth, regeneration, rebirth into this new life of abundance and blessings and gifts. I couldn't be even more clear, but sometimes we think about it too much, right? I've done that. I've thought about it too much. But we do need to think. We do need to allow ourselves that time. And then allow ourselves to heal, regenerate, end these cycles, and allow ourselves to receive the gifts. Because they are coming. The message of gifts are coming. Okay, that's a little too many. We just have one here, Spirit. One. There we go. These are the postcards from Spirit. This one says on the front, you are not alone. You are not alone. Dearest you, there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away that map you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that a part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that's shown up in your life. Yes, this is the right Time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporary, temporarily blinded by a super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on, special one. A beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. Wow, what a great way to tie it all in. It's, you know, taking that time to be in the hanged man, taking that time in suspension, knowing that you deserve this life of love and abundance and true partnership. The messages are coming in from spirit, allowing you to heal and regenerate and rebirth and come out into this new life and receive your gifts. And it's like another confirmation, a beautiful life awaits you. It really does. But it's time to let go of those old energies, let go of the past so that you can rebirth into this new life, into this divine union, this partnership, and be the emperor and the empress that you are. Be the god and goddess that you are. Be your unique, beautiful, amazing self and let the sun shine in. But it's up to you to do it. Nobody else can do that for you. Nobody else can let go of what's not serving you. Nobody else can make the decisions that you need to make right now to move forward. Make your choice in love. Loving yourself. Moving forward. Feeling strong and stable on your own. Speaking your truth. Being happy. Being joyful. That's all available for you. Stability. You know, four, four, four is staring at me right now. Stability is coming in. But it's up to you to get that wheel turning and let go of the people and situations and experiences and thoughts and belief systems that aren't serving you. It's time. And I wish you many, many blessings. I hope you enjoyed this reading and got something wonderful out of it. And I appreciate all your support on my channel. And I look forward to hearing how this all unfolds and the gifts you're going to be receiving. I wish you the best.